A Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for March 20, 2015. New transitory form of silica observed. A Carnegie-led team was able to discover five new forms of silica under extreme pressures at room temperature. Their findings are published by the journal Nature Communications. Silicon dioxide, commonly called silica, is one of the most abundant natural compounds and a major component of the Earth's crust and mantle. It's well known even to non-scientists in its quartz crystalline form, which is a major component of sand in many places. It's used in the manufacture of microchips, cement, glass, and even some toothpaste. Silica's various high-pressure forms make it an often used study subject for scientists interested in the transition between different chemical phases under extreme conditions, such as those mimicking the deep earth. The first discovered high-pressure, high-temperature denser form, or phase of silica, is called coesite. It, like quartz, consists of building blocks of silicon atoms surrounded by four oxygen atoms. Under greater pressures and temperatures, it transforms into an even denser form called stichovite, with silicon atoms surrounded by six oxygen atoms. The transition between these phases was crucial for learning about the pressure gradient of the deep earth, and the four to six configuration shift has been of great interest to geoscientists. Experiments have revealed even higher pressure phases of silica beyond these two, sometimes called post-stichovite. A chemical phase is a distinctive and uniform configuration of the molecules that make up a substance. Changes in external conditions, such as temperature and pressure, can induce a transition from one phase to another, not unlike water freezing into ice or boiling into steam. The team included Carnegie's Ching Yang Hu, Jin Fu Shu, Yui Meng, Wei Ge Yong, and Ho Kuang Dave Mao. They demonstrated that under a range from 257,000 to 523,000 times normal atmospheric pressure, or 26 to 53 gigapascals, a single crystal of coesite transforms into four new coexisting crystalline phases before finally recombining into a single phase. This phase is denser than stichovite, sometimes called post-stichovite, which is the team's fifth newly discovered phase. This transition takes place at room temperature rather than the extreme temperatures found deep in the Earth. Scientists previously thought that this intermediate was amorphous, meaning that it lacked the long-range order of a crystalline structure. This new study uses superior X-ray analytical probes to show otherwise. They are four distinct, well-crystallized phases of silica without amorphization. Advanced theoretical calculations performed by the team provided detailed explanations of the transition paths from coesite to the four crystalline phases to post-stichovite. Scientist Mao said that researchers have long debated whether a phase exists between the four and six oxygen phases. These newly discovered four transition phases and the new phase of post-stichovite that was discovered show the missing link for which they've been searching. The paper's other co-authors are Adam Kadian of George Mason University, and Howard Cheng of both the Center for High Pressure Science and Technology Advanced Research in Shanghai, China, and George Mason University. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.